Today we're going to be installing an Overland Vehicle Systems Nomadic 180 degree awning. I just finished installing a brand new Prinsu roof rack. Now it's time to get the awning out of storage and back on top of the 4Runner where it belongs. Something to consider when you're getting an awning. On a 4Runner you have that rear hatch to contend with. The 180 degree awning integrates nicely as it wraps around and creates a nice amount of protection from sun and rain when that hatches up. This is the reason I went with the 180 versus the 270. The 270 just will not fit on a 4Runner when you take into consideration the rear hatch. This awning is very easy to install. I'm going to go ahead and I'll walk you through all the parts and pieces that come with it and then we're going to go ahead and get it up on top of the roof. You know, I've been running this for just about a year now, and I have to say I'm really impressed with the quality. Uh, everything down to the outer shell is just nice and durable. These zippers have never failed me. They've never gotten stuck. It's been super easy to work with. And then the beauty of this system is how you mount it. So this aluminum rail system allows you to slide the brackets back and forth to really line up with whatever type of roof rack application you're running. All right, so talking a little bit more about the mounting system. They provide three of these brackets. They're quite beefy, and what I love about them is they have a lot of different options for how you can mount these to whatever roof rack um, you're running. And then they go ahead, and this is just a snapshot of what they provide, but provide you a lot of different options as well from a hardware perspective, from U-bolts to these slide-in um, brackets. This is gonna give you quite a variety of ways to mount it to the top of your roof. For me though, I have the Prinsu roof rack and my previous roof rack had that 8020 aluminum with the slots in it. And I went ahead and ordered all the stainless steel T-nuts and bolts and stainless steel washers. And I'm just kind of doing my own mounting system. I did this for the last year, it's worked out great. I'll be doing three of these in each bracket, um, plenty durable and strong. And then the tools that you're gonna need for this are pretty simple and basic. Um, I'm using an eighth inch, uh, hex, half inch socket, ratchet, and then I just put a ratchet adapter on my drill um, so that I can speed things up a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead now and mount these brackets onto the back of the awning. Uh, you could either do it this way or you can mount the brackets onto the vehicle first. Um, but for what I'm doing, I think it'd be easier for me to get the brackets on the awning. So just go ahead, open up the size, just Velcro, and then you can just start sliding in these bolts into the channels. You're gonna need three bolts in each channel. And then once you get those bolts into the channels, you can go ahead, install these rubber stoppers. And just cinch everything back down. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start mounting these brackets. As you can see, there's two different sides to the bracket. There's this thinner side and thicker side. Thinner side goes down. That would be towards the zipper side. So right here is the bottom of the awning. And you also can see that there's multiple uh, mounting locations. I'm gonna go to the highest point. And then we have a series of washers, just regular stainless steel washers, lock washers, and then also lock nuts. I don't want to tighten this down too much. I want it to be able to slide this back and forth to align it on the vehicle. So we're just going to give it a quick little tighten. And you still move these around nice. And we're just going to go ahead and install the other two. Okay, we have all the brackets installed. They slide around nice and easy so we can reposition them once we get them out there. Uh, we're gonna move out to the Forerunner now and get the bolts mounted on top of the rack so we're ready to bring this out and install. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and install these bolts and these T-nuts into these channels on this 8020 aluminum rail. So this is what I was talking about. I wanted to kind of create my own system. So I'm just using the simple T-nut, screwing in this bolt that has a hex fitting at the top and they just simply slide right into here and you position them where you want and then you tighten them down. I'm gonna be putting three bolts into each rail and then I'm gonna be leveraging obviously three rails. So we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of these in and then it's time to bring the awning out. 
All right, so this is really a two-man job, so I'm enlisting the help of the big guns, bringing Susie in. And she's really gonna hold her end in place while we line up these brackets. You have it? All right. So I'm just gonna line up these bolts in place here. I'm just gonna slide a washer on each. Start the bolts. And that is loosely installed. So now we're gonna move on to the next bracket. How are you doing over there? Good. All right, we're gonna come back my way a little. I'm just gonna slide this out to where we want it. We'll be mounting a rooftop tent on here in a week or so, so I wanna make sure we leave enough room. Now to make quick work of this, I'm just gonna use the ratchet. And loosely, loosely cinch this down. Now we're gonna go around and tighten everything up these bolts on the sides need to be tightened up as well. But the awning looks to be centered on the roof rack. I'm giving myself a nice amount of clearance here for the rooftop tent that's gonna be installed on here as well. But if we do need to move it out further, we definitely have plenty of bracket to do so. So I'm just gonna go ahead here, get this all tightened up and wrap up this install. All right, we have everything bolted down nice and tight on the awning. I'm gonna go ahead now and just show you how easy it is to set this thing up. All right, well that wraps up the install and the setup of this nomadic 180 degree awning by Overland Vehicle Systems. I've been running this awning since last summer and I have only great things to say about it. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.